Well, welcome to this Valumed demonstration video for the EcoTest 5-in-1 home cholesterol meter. This uh, meter system allows home testing, pharmacy testing and clinic testing to lab accuracy, giving quick results within two minutes and a full lipid profile, including total cholesterol, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, uh, LDL cholesterol, triglycerides and a total cholesterol to HDL ratio. Now we're going to demonstrate later in the video the correct technique for doing the finger lance sampling and the blood collection for this meter. So do stay tuned for that. But the first part is going to show you the contents of the meter as it's supplied to you and show you the setup of the meter. So thanks for watching. Let's crack on with this demonstration video. Now this is what you will get inside the box. There's a little insert for the check devices which we'll talk you through in a minute. A warranty card which if you purchase this meter system from us there's no absolute requirement to fill in because we will have an electronic record of the date and time of your purchase and your warranty is for 12 months and you get this very well written EcoTest cholesterol meter instruction manual. Do take the time to have a good read through all of the elements of this so you familiarise yourself with all of the function of the digital meter. I talked a little about the check devices. There's no need to use these when you first get the meter. These are optical check devices testing the function of the digital meter. They can be used if you have any concerns about the accuracy of it at any time during its uh, life. They have to be used within 12 months of the seal being broken. They can be used multiple times, but the expiry date is usually quite long on the pack. But once you've opened it, do write the time and date that you open it so that you use those only for 12 months afterwards. Now, also included is obviously the digital meter. Let's take that out of its protective wrapper. And here you have the EcoTest branded blue cholesterol meter. The battery port is on the rear of this and you will also be supplied as part of the uh, contents of the pack four AAA batteries for the power of this unit. So let's now show you how to insert the batteries and set the time and date on this meter. The battery port on the EcoTest digital meter is on the rear of the device. Simply open it up and you have some diachromatic instructions how to insert the battery alignment. Follow this with the four batteries supplied. And when I put the last battery in place, you should hear the meter beep. When that happens, pop the battery cover back on. Now, if you turn the meter over with the batteries in the correct alignment and hold and depress the power button, the meter should power up. What it will then ask for is you to put the code chip. Now the code chip house the calibration for the test strips that have been supplied with your meter. This is the little code chip that came with the strips with this meter and the port for the code chip is just on the side here. If you just insert that by pushing it in, the meter should recognize the code chip and give you the code reference number there. Now that can then be run and tested straight away. But what I'm going to show you now in the next section of this video is how to set the time and date. And that's important if you want to use the memory function. This meter holds 50, sorry, 500 memories. And if you've set the time and date, it will also tell you when they were taken. So let's do that next for you. Now, when you're ready to set the meter up with the time and date, which we recommend and uh, first initiation of the meter, depress the power button. And instead of proceeding to a test, press the power button again and hold for two seconds. This will bring up the system menu. Now I want to navigate through the system menu. I'm going to press that again to date set. Now you can navigate up and down these menus using these side buttons, but the date set is what I want. So I'm going to press that again. Now it's asking me to set the hour and you can use these arrow buttons to set up or down for the time. I'm going to go for 15 and it's quarter past three. So I'm going to bring that down to 1515 15 for the correct time. When I'm happy with that, move to the month, which is April. Press the power button to secure, and then we're going to run that down to the 10th of April. And it's now navigated through to the year, which I'm now moving up to 2024. You see, if you overrun, you can just use the corresponding down button to correct your mistake. And then when you're happy with that, you can just press the power button. Hold it and it comes back to date. Navigate back down to back. Navigate down to exit. 
and you can either let the meter power down naturally or just press the power button to switch the meter off. The time and date is now set in that meter and you're ready to perform your first test. Now, before you perform your first test, it's important to prepare the hand that you're going to do the finger lance on. Make sure that it is well perfused, pink and warm. Wash the hands well with soap and water and allow them to completely dry. You must have no moisture on the hands as this will interfere with the sample collection. Massage the fingers if you have any concern about the peripheral capillary perfusion. They should be really pink and warm. If not, then don't attempt to test because it's unlikely that you'll get sufficient blood from the finger lance. Massage the fingers in this fashion and that will create maximum perfusion. The best finger to actually perform the lance on, in our opinion, is the middle finger or ring finger. The middle tends to be the most capillary rich and the least sensitive. When you're doing your lance, do it on the side of the finger, not the flat surface, and ensure that the surface is well supported, ideally with the thumb, just in that fashion. So, let's prepare the meter ready to take the sample, and then we will show you the correct lancing technique with the safety lancets, and how to use the pipettes, which with the black line, will naturally fill with your blood sample once correctly aligned with it and give the exact correct volume of blood for the test device to give you an accurate measurement. So when you are happy with the capillary flushing being good and you're ready to sample, remove the test device from its protective foil, press the power button on the meter and insert a test device for the matching code chip. You'll see the device will print preparing and then a blood sample will flash indicating that the device is ready to take the blood sample. When you are ready to sample, remove the cover from the safety lancet, brace the side of the finger you're about to lance and push firmly with the safety lancet against the finger. Do not be timid, it's important you get a good blood sample. There we go. Now wipe the first droplet away and allow the second droplet to form naturally. Then use the capillary tube. Just by placing it in the blood sample, you must not squeeze the bulb. You see I'm bleeding really well with that. Until it fills to the black line. When it has done so, Squeeze the pipette to discharge the blood sample into the sample well. Discharge all the blood sample into the sample well on the test device. If you have formed any air pockets in the capillary tube, do not use that sample, it will be insufficient. Relance and use a fresh capillary tube to get your sample for testing. Now you'll see that the meter is now reading the sample. It'll take a minute or so to analyze that sample for me. It's important that this is performed in good bright conditions because this is an optical analysis test and that you give it an adequate and good quality sample. If despite following the advice we've just given you there, you still do not bleed well and produce good samples, an additional tip is to purchase and use a tourniquet around the wrist or forearm applied for a couple of minutes before you do the finger lance as this will increase the capillary fullness and the likelihood of you getting a good naturally formed blood sample. If you do need to squeeze the fingers to ooze the blood out to collect, it is likely that the sample will not give an accurate result. It is very critical that you get a good deep lance and a naturally formed second full 35 microliter droplet in the pipette for analysis. And there we have it. There is my cholesterol readings just showing up now. 4.98 millimoles per liter total cholesterol, an HDL of 0.7, a total triglyceride level of 2.18,
and an LDL of 3.28, giving a TC to HDL ratio of 7.1. And you can see that that reading is recorded and time printed for 1442 on the 2nd of April 2024. So I hope you find this information and advice useful. It is critical to get the good samples using a good lance technique for accurate readings using this meter. And this is the area of the procedure that most people fail on until they have practice adequately. It's not down to meter insufficiency or technical issues. It all comes down to getting a really good quality blood sample. And if you can master that, then this meter will give you extremely accurate lipid profiles every single test. Thanks for watching.